seven inspection types. Depending on the property, its condition, its age, and the needs and interests of your buyers, it may be important to have other more specific components within the property inspected. For instance, general property inspectors will not inspect the interior of a chimney. Yet, given the circumstances, the chimney may need to be inspected. Additionally, general inspectors probably will not inspect for radon gas or lead paint, Various kinds of inspections that go beyond the general inspection that may be appropriate include chimney inspection, environmental inspection, geologic inspection, heating, air conditioning and plumbing inspection, land survey inspection, pool and or spa inspection, and structural inspection. Chimney inspection. Most chimney inspectors would advise home buyers or any new non-residential property buyer whose investment has a chimney on the premises to invest in a chimney inspection if there is no record of an inspection within the previous year. The fact is that a damaged or clogged chimney creates a significant health and life risk from uncontained smoke and burning flames. Within a year's worth of use, an unkept chimney can result in these outcomes. Causes of chimney damage include the natural movement of the earth and the lacking maintenance of a neglected property owner. Regardless of the causes of chimney damage, cracks and clogged flues can result in smoke and flames reaching beyond the chimney into the property structure. As with general property inspectors, a chimney sweep's license can be checked online using the internet. Many credible practitioners are certified by the Chimney Safety Institute of America. This organization can be contacted to verify certification. Additionally, practitioners should be qualified by buyers. The qualification should include questions to verify not only certification and guild membership, but insurance coverage, including liability and E&O. Environmental Inspection Some real estate professionals suggest that determining the environmental health of a home is every bit as important as determining its structural integrity. Over the recent years, environmental concerns have become increasingly prominent in news and media. Compelling stories of chronic diseases resulting from poor drinking water, radon, lead-based paint, mold, and mildew have created heightened concerns across America, bolstering interests in risk detection. For these reasons, general home inspectors may advise buyers to hire inspectors that can identify these factors if they are suspected. Water Inspection Safe water for drinking, cooking, and bathing is an absolute necessity for maintaining a healthy mind, body, and family, and community. In many instances, public water municipalities supply homeowners with water obtained from underground aquifers. In less common instances, homeowners have a private water source, such as a well, a spring, or pond located on the property. If a property's water source is public, the water is tested and treated for contaminants found in the water according to state and federal requirements. The water is tested for microbes, radionuclides, inorganic contaminants such as asbestos, lead, copper, mercury, and nitrates. Microbes. Microbes are common in aquatic environments and, in most instances, do not cause harm. It's important to know, however, that the presence of these bacteria in drinking water may indicate a problem with the treatment system or the neighborhood delivery system. The presence of microbes may also be a strong indication the water is polluted with germs that can cause serious illness. Examples of microbes include fecal coliform and E. coli are bacteria resulting from human or animal waste. Adverse effects of ingesting these types of microbes include short-term effects of cramping, diarrhea, headaches, and nausea. Turbidity does not directly cause adverse health effects because its presence can retard the purification process and provide a medium for microbial growth. However, its presence may indicate the presence of minor illness-causing organisms such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites that can cause cramping, diarrhea, headaches, and nausea symptoms. Cryptosporidium is a parasite that enters lakes and rivers as a result of sewage and animal waste contamination. It causes gastrointestinal illness that for most results in diarrhea, nausea, stomach cramps, and vomiting. 
The greatest risk of internal cryptosporidium exposure are for those born with weak immune systems or for those who have weakened immune systems resulting from cancer, organ transplant, and immune suppressive drugs. Exposure under these conditions can result in more persistent effects and possible death. Guardia lamblia affects rivers and bodies of water as a result of sewage and animal waste exposure. Adverse health effects of this microbe may include vomiting, abdominal pain, abdominal cramps, fever, and other systemic symptoms. Radionuclides Some minerals are radioactive and, as such, emit alpha radiation. A portion of the population has an increased health risk when they drink water containing alpha emitters over a period of several years. In these instances, the health risk is cancer. The two sources of alpha radiation include beta emitters and combined radium emitters. Radon gas can dissolve to become waterborne, thereby contaminating wells and other sources of water. Just as breathing radon gas can cause lung cancer, so can drinking radon contaminated water. Now go back, fill in the blanks, take your quiz, and you may move on to the next session.